I've been associated with fashion work for quite some time. Uh, we do a lot of it with our groups in the stores in the city. And for the past year, we've been concentrating a lot of our activities on the university campuses. Only recently, we thought when we had a plan uh, developed with AMCO for fashion parades in the school holidays, that we would take the concept of the concerts and the fashion parades together and bring them into the high schools and Northmead High School has been excellent in the reception it's given us and you know, the kids here today have really enjoyed the whole show. You have an incredibly captive market here in schools. Well, 1,000 people today. <laughs> uh, it's a very big market and we're hoping that it's also of a big benefit to the schools as well. Um, in the parades today we've seen a lot of dress-up jeans and a lot of the new lines which are titled almost experimental. Um, we think they'll go with the market and we're going to show through a series of parades and through competitions that uh, people can do their own gene thing however it happens. It isn't a new idea of using a rock band along with you know, showing fashions. Do you really think it's going to work though? I think it will. We've used groups extensively in all our fashion parades. In fact, um, only a couple of weeks ago when we had the 1971 Fashion Awards at the Wentworth Hotel, we used the Daily Wilson Big Band and you can't get any bigger than that. Uh, so we are using music and we're using um, contemporary to very heavy style of music in the presentation. And uh, maybe these parades will be part of the thing that we can take into country centres, allowing high school students in the country to see some of the fashions that are coming and to also hear some of the Sydney groups that you know they like but they just never get a chance to see.